Hello everybody, welcome back to the Quick Take and welcome back to the pre-game Chelsea take on Arsenal on Sky Sports at 530 Let's get into it. Before I continue, I would like to quickly remind you I am running a giveaway with ownasaber.com where at 15,000 subscribers, you could be in with a chance at winning the King of London lightsaber, the perfect saber for every Chelsea fan. Three participants will be chosen and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and check the pinned comment down below for more information. And with that, on with the video. So let's have a look at the Premier League table. Arsenal currently sits second on 20 points, whereas Chelsea sits 11th with 11 points. Now, Arsenal are interchangeably top of the table. It comes and goes with goal difference with Spurs, but they are doing quite well this season. They're currently coming off a 1-0 win against Manchester City, which is going to be a massive confidence boost to the team. But Chelsea have also won a few games. I think it's three games in a row now, including a 4-1 victory against Burnley. That will do massive things to the team's uh, overall confidence. It's something that's been lacking for a while now. Now, Arsenal do score more goals than Chelsea on average. They score around two goals per game, whereas Chelsea score 1.4. In terms of goals considered per 90, it is very close. Arsenal currently sit at 0.8 per 90, whereas Chelsea sit at 0.9. So it will be two very strong defences going at each other, which can be somewhat of a boring game uh, but on the other hand we get to see some defensive brilliance from both sides you know you, we got players like Thiago Silva um Colwell I think De Sassi's gonna be back I think De Sassi's back from um his time away uh Ben Wabadia Shiele is apparently back but I don't know if he'll be starting uh Malagusto's back from his uh time out from playing obviously because of the red card he had a three game suspension but then we're also going to get up against the likes of Zinchenko Ben White Saliba Gabriel you know these players are strong players and it'll be very difficult to get a goal against them but it can happen they did lose in the Champions League Arsenal currently have the most clean sheets in the Premier League at four. Chelsea are right behind them with three. So again, very good defences going at each other. Now, in terms of XG, Arsenal and Chelsea are actually exactly the same. It says right here, we are equal at 15.2. However, Arsenal have scored 16 and Chelsea have scored 11, meaning Arsenal's attack are actually more capable of finishing off chances or putting the ball into the back of the net than Chelsea are. And that's just, that. I think that comes with experience and the whole club has been working together for a lot longer than our attack has. You know, we've got players like Cole Palmer and Nicholas Jackson. They just come in. Raheem Sterling still, he's good, but he still, it almost feels like he's still finding his footing at Chelsea. I don't know how to describe it. I, I said this in another video. Some days he's good, some days he's bad, but Arsenal's attack are definitely more established and they know each other's rhythms a lot more and they are more capable in front of goal than we are. That's just, it's just a fact. It's just a fact. And that's why they are where they are now. But it's not like Chelsea don't create chances. We actually sit quite high for uh, big chances created at 19 and Arsenal have only created 10. A big stat in this however is Chelsea have missed 17 of their 19 big chances created which is is really bad it's really bad. Only Everton have missed more big chances than Chelsea this season. Chelsea do have uh, some stats that are higher than Arsenal. It says right here, Chelsea average more accurate passes, more accurate long balls. That's probably th uh, thanks to the likes of Enzo Fernandez and Colwell. Um, and more possession one in the final third, which be, I'm sure Hansi Flack could be dribbling at the thought of that. Um, but it means that we're able to win possession back quickly and in dangerous areas. So hopefully that's an area we can exploit against Arsenal. The thing is, though, Arsenal don't have that many weaknesses. The only weakness I can kind of think of would probably be their goalkeeper, David Raya, who's coming for Aaron Ramsdale. Not too sure what's going on with him, but he was an okay keeper, wasn't the best. But they brought in David Raya, and David Raya is somewhat known to be susceptible to long-range shots. And we have players like Cole Palmer who can score long-range shots. We've seen it before. We've also seen Mikhailo Mudrik score a long-range beautiful strike uh, for Ukraine the other day. Um, so that is one of the things that we may be able to exploit uh, against Arsenal. But it will be difficult to get those shots off again. They've got Thomas Part in the midfield, Declan Rice, and then that strong back four is Inchenko, Saliba, um, Gabriel, and Ben White. So getting that shot off will be a task in itself. And then obviously got to get on target and get it past the keeper, who's he's not useless, but he is susceptible to them. So that is one of the avenues we could take to probably score. However, we do have the predicted lineups on screen here. Let's go over Arsenal's first. So in goal, it's David Raya, Zinchenko, Gabriel, Saliba, White. Very strong defence. Really good midfield here. Thomas Partey, Declan Rice, Martin Odegaard, Martin Lee on the left, Bakayo Sack on the right, Gabriel Jesus down the middle. That is probably their strongest side. Obviously, there's no Havertz. That would, that would make them their least strongest side. 
uh, they they're, they're pulling all the big guns. They're coming to Stamford Bridge, and they are going to they're going to go for the win. Chelsea's predicted lineup is as follows: Robert Sanchez in net, Colwell at left back, Thiago Silva and De Sassi starting. Uh, Malo Gusto is back in the team. Reese James is rumored to be fit and ready. However, I do think. Um, if he's going to play, he'll play maybe 30 minutes, 20 minutes precautionary because he is coming back from a long-term injury and we really can't risk losing him again. He is our captain and he is probably our best player. And I think up there with Enzo Fernandez and players like Thiago Silva potentially. Um, but losing Reese James again to injury would be the worst case scenario. Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo in the midfield pivot of the 4-2-3-1. Conor Gallagher in front of them with Raheem Sterling on his left-hand side. Cole Palmer on the right-hand side and Nicholas Jackson up front. Yes, Nicholas Jackson is back. I think Pochettino said he was going to be assessed because of his... Uh, he picked up a wrist injury, I think, against Burnley. Uh, but he should be okay to play. Uh, just wrap it up and um, he should be good to go. Have some paracetamol, maybe a bit of cowpaw. So he'll be fine. It's a relatively strong side. Uh, this is the predicted lineup, of course. Um, if I was to have my go at it, I would start Raheem Sterling on the right-hand side, Cole Palmer down the middle behind Nicholas Jackson, and Mikhail Mudrik on the left-hand side. I think Mikhail Mudrik is brimming with, with confidence at the moment, and that is exactly what we need. We need Mudrik with confidence. He's very fast. He can maybe um, put on the afterburners against someone like um, Ben White, and he's able to cut inside onto that right foot, and he did score a long-range shot, and he has scored long-range shots for um, Shakhtar Donetsk before so he does have that in, a, in his locker and it would be one of the things that we could exploit against Arsenal but that's just me I have done a combined 11 and it's here we have David Raya in net with Colwell, Thiago Silva, Saliba and Ben White making up the defence Enzo Fernandez partners Declan Rice in the midfield pivot I'm going, going for a 4-2-3-1 shape here I just think it's fair uh, Sterling on the left hand side Martin Odegaard uh, in that central attacking midfielder spot. Bukayo Saka, of course, on the right. He's one of the best players in the league. I'm not ashamed to say that he is an Arsenal player, but he is one of the best players in the league. Come on. And um, we have Gabriel Jesus up at striker. Um, I think it's fair. I don't think there's many complaints there. If, I think if Mudrick was starting, he'd probably start ahead of Sterling. Um, I do rate Mudrick quite highly, even though it may be biased because he is a Chelsea player and um, he is a great player and I'm really excited to see how he does, but that is my that is my combined 11. Listen, I'm, I'm not too sure where this game is going to go. Um, I think it's going to be a game that is played in moments and when I say that, I mean it's going to be uh, decided by certain moments in the game where there is a lack of concentration or there is a poor pass back to the keeper. I really think Chelsea are in a good place at the moment. Arsenal, of course, are in a really good place at the moment. And so getting a goal against either one of these teams is going to be tough. And it's really going to come down to who makes the first mistake, I think. So, and if you had to put money on it, you would say Chelsea, Chelsea are probably more likely to make the first mistake. You know, there is a pathway to beating Arsenal. They did lose to Lens, obviously a lesser team. And I think that game was made up of a lot of mistakes from the side of Arsenal. And obviously, Lens taking their chances, which is exactly what we need to do. We we won't have that many chances. We do create a lot of big chances, but against Arsenal, against one of the best teams in the, in the league, it's going to be very interesting to see how we get on. Of course, Pochettino has never lost against um, Arsenal as a coach. He's never lost with them when he was at um, PSG or when he was at Spurs. Mainly against Spurs, but mainly at Spurs, sorry. But it is a big ask. Um, if, I to, if I was to predict the score, I would probably go... I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to say 3-2 Chelsea. Um, I think we I think we will take our chances, to be honest. Uh, Jackson is probably in a, a lot better form than he was at the start of the season. Um, Raheem Sterling, I think he'll show up. Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo in that midfield in that midfield pivot is really starting to click, and with um, Colwell playing with the same um, aggression and the same confidence he is doing now, with Malo Gusto back into the side, I think we are in a good position to potentially pick up the win. And obviously, um, Cole Palmer, I think he scored for for Man City against Arsenal in a cup game before we bought him. A nice long range shot again. So there is that uh, factor that could play into the game. But that is my. Uh, prediction that is the pre-game i'm going three to chelsea as you can see on the screen now the predicted lineups are quite strong from arsenal and fairly strong from chelsea although i would have mudrick starting on the left hand side and playing raheem Sterling on the right cole palmer down the middle and of course nicholas jackson at striker but that's just me i've been the quick take and i'll catch you on the next one see you later